Hi friends, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make these easy headrest covers for your car seat using your knitting machine. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we make these. Real quick though, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button so you get notified when I release new videos. In order to make this, you will need a tapestry needle and scissors, which is standard with a knitting machine. I do have an Addy knitting machine and some yarn. Today I'm going to be using some black yarn. Um, you can mix up the colors, change the color rows. We can go ahead and do a lot more of that. If you want to see me make uh, different color schemes or whatever, just let me know. But let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Now, to begin, we are going to be working in a circular panel. So like you normally do, leave a bit of a tail here at the beginning. And we are simply going to do a cast on, um, just like you would for any standard knitting machine project. So we will do that. Go ahead and cast on, meet me back here. I actually went ahead and grabbed a secondary color because we're going to mix it up a little bit. So once you have your cast on row, you will want to crank out. If you're doing a solid color, you just want to do a total of 55 rows. However, I am going to do 10 rows and then I'm going to switch over. I think I'll probably do like four rows of this, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and crank out 10 rows really fast. I have done 10 rows so far, and to change your color, you're just going to cut your yarn and put it into the yarn um, inside right before the black pin. Leave a little bit of a tail, add in your new color, and then you do want to make sure that you crank this first row really easily. So from rows 10 to rows 14, I'm going to go ahead and use this, and then I will switch back over to the black. So let's do that. Here I am back at row 14. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my color changes every few rows. If you are gonna do a solid color for your car headrest, then you just wanna simply do a total of 55 rows and then meet me back at this video and we will cast off. If you are going to be changing color like me, remember to you know, fasten and uh, tie knots in your color changes and then you can snip these guys short if you want or you can wait to do that till you pull your, your work off but after a few color changes I just like to stop and kind of do this so I just wanted to remind you guys of that now here I've done a total of 55 rows now I did a little bit of a color change in there again you can customize this which makes it so much fun because you can make it special for your car you can add appliques or whatever you choose now you do want to leave a bit of a tail we are going to snip this off and we are going to cast off so you want to grab your tapestry needle and then we're just going to do a standard cast off method um, for our knitting machine so of course we start with the black now i've seen people where they do crank multiple stitches at a time i do not like to do that i feel like it's just too risky after putting in all that time and energy to make something to possibly drop your stitches right at the end so i just do it nice and slow one stitch at a time you know slow little turtle or whatever that is one the race with the hair so i just like to do it this way so go ahead and cast your work off of your machine now that you have your work off of the machine um this is the side that i cast it off with but i want this to be the bottom of my headrest so i'm actually going to turn this the opposite way you know what yeah however you want to do that whatever side you want to be the bottom of your headrest that's the side that you want facing down and we are actually just going to go ahead and cinch tight the top of this we're only cinching one side right now because then we are going to take this out to our car and we are going to put this onto our car seat so go ahead and cinch it tight and then you want to make a few knots and then at this point you can go ahead and sew in the ends hide this 
this little guy up here, but we are going to tie this in. Okay, now let's go take a road trip and go out to the car. Now, here we are at my car, and like I said, we wanted to cinch one side of this closed, and then we will simply set this onto our thing here. Once you have it on there, you simply want to pull this string, this extra bit that you had, and at this point, I just bring it around to the back, and then I will put it in there. But that is what it looks like, you guys. I have a black one on this. I'll get a close up, but that's just the pattern that I came up with. I'm in love with it. Yeah, as you see, guys, you um don't see the ends on this side, so definitely cut your ends, sew those in. Um, but that is how it turned out. I am in love with these so very much. Uh, if you guys like today's video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment down below, let me know what you thought, and I will see you guys all next time. So let me give you guys a little bit of a close-up of the black one that I have on this side of the car. Those are my two little headrests, you guys. Um, as you can see, I guess you can see the, the ends because I didn't sew those in, but if you sew in your ends or you cut those off, you won't see those. Let's take a look at it from the back. Thank you.